What's going on, everybody? Doc Cap Scrimmer, guys. Back yet again. More Escape Tarkov action and another episode in the Escape series. We're going to jump right into this. Um, pretty good episode last time. Got some things done. Got some hideout progress complete. I think probably post the episode. I honestly can't remember. Uh, but we did get rest space upgraded and installed. So that was pretty good. So we're going to look to continue on two things. Continuing to quest. Continue to get some things done. Uh, and keep uh, leveling our traders up. In addition, we are looking to strive to make some money. That is going to be the key here. To be able to get that done. And the big reason for that is we're going to need the stash upgrade here pretty soon. Um, you know, I... I don't recall where we'll be at in the hardcore series but we've been working on that pretty steadily it'll be much easier obviously to get on a an account where we can use the flea market but we still do need to make uh the rubles we probably need about three million in total it's two and a half uh for the actual upgrade itself we're sitting at about 600 and about 650k um so we need to do some progress there to make some cash and uh get some things and i'm there undoubtedly is things that i can sell uh but hanging on to quite a few things uh to get that done so we got a daily task we're going to go customs first here we got again a couple of different tasks that we can complete there so we're going to see if we can get some progress so without further ado jump in let's get some raids All right, customs. We're going dorms. We're probably the most geared we've been. Not a terrible spawn. Not a great spawn. It's probably the most geared we've been this uh, series. RPK, Eagle Nick. We got uh, we got Tagilla's armor. I need to get three story dorms. I need USEC kills. I need gas analyzers. And I need to get into 220. So let's get it. Flash dry. Thinking about going in two story here. I want to check a bunch of filing cabinets for flash drives. have some of them I just don't have a way to bring them all Why are they so angry?
Alright, getting into 220 here. We've heard quite a bit of shooting. Sounds like construction. Maybe we just look to secure... Interesting. A lot of shots at construction here. I think I just move. We've got the we've got the documents. This might be a fight we can get involved in. I just move actually I need the kills but securing the documents so we can get this chemical part 2 done would be good too I'm gonna pop in here and uh, check filing cabinets basically both sides See if we can't grab our uh, gas analyzers. Did I not hit that dude, like, literally in the head? I did. I, I, I shot this scav in the head. We're just gonna take all this stuff. As we can. Little wallet action. We will take that for show. I can't believe he ricocheted that shot. Insane in the membrane. Alright, 
Just try to make a quick extract here. We'll just get a wind under the belt, obviously. Save the good gear. Make some money. Got some things that will definitely make us some money. Get a quest done. And we'll just clicking on all cylinders here for this first one. Pretty, uh, pretty spicy customs. About 2,000 experience. We get a couple of scavs that we need for the scav kills and making our way to level 18. So nothing super crazy on the loot haul. We get a helmet that we'll use, face covering. Uh, we get an Alianka that we're going to sell. Uh, that'll be pretty nice. And then the rest of it, we're just going to kind of burn. Might hang on to the shotgun if we can find room. Um, but uh, best thing here, best progress. Got some... Oh, we got a daily done uh, with uh, mechanics, so that's pretty cool. So a little extra boost experience and um, some rubles and some pretty terrible items. But I believe chemical is complete. Part two. We get that knocked out. Then we go chemical part three. Need to get into factory. Do that. I will probably do this, but I'm not going to do it yet. I think... Um, I think we go back to customs here, actually. We got enough things, I think, to do. I don't know what's up with that. Um, oh, I probably need to. Yeah, we really need to find these gas analyzers. So um, yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. We'll get, uh, we'll get situated here. We're gonna stay pretty well geared up and we'll uh, head back into uh, customs. See you in the raid. All right. We're in. I got distracted. I need gas analyzers. We should find some. We should we should get some of those things. I need to kill scavs too. Generally just need to fight. I need PMC kills. That sucks. Looks for that guy. He just found this armor too. What a lucky ducky. I don't actually need the tags. Nice little start to the PvP. Saiga. There's one. Hopefully he was a USAC. I think he was. He was. This. wallet <laughs> little double uno reverse there for these what are these m62 and that's pretty good Garbage. The 62 is pretty good though. All I want to do there is check to see if a shallows spawned.
don't have a freaking clue where this guy went. I wonder if that guy was a pistoling as well. Which is why that scav ran that way like that. It would not explain why that guy got a grenade or where he got a grenade from. Interesting raid we have on our hands here. something else. I'm going crazy. The rain can be pretty trippy though, I think, too. There's two guys up there. What? Oh my god. I... They're running like some good stuff. Why are they sitting in these bushes? This game makes me cringe sometimes.
All right. Well, we finish up with a uh, decent little factory run there. I at least get a chemical part two complete or part three. And uh, that allows us to move on. The big key here is going to be, a, and the reason I wanted to get chemical done, at least in this episode, or get it close to completion, uh, was uh, we'll probably stick with the reward of a meds case. And that's going to be something that's really going to help us from a space consolidation standpoint. We don't have any cases yet. Uh, outside of the Lucky Scav junk box on this account, and I think that's going to be a big thing for us uh, when we look at space. A couple of frustrating raids in this one, and I apologize for a, a little bit of a lack of commentary on the couple of factory raids. Had a little bit of a technical difficulty with the camera, but we're able to get that up and running uh, to do the closeout here. And, um, you know, the nice thing, at least from the first raid, uh, was that we first factory raid was that we were able to get a kill. So we're still working towards friend from the West. Uh, we need three more USEC PMC kills. If we can get that knocked out, we'll be in a really good spot. So uh, with that, we're going to wrap this one up. Decent little quest progress. We've got quite a bit still to do. And uh, but we're we're kind of slowly chumming along here and didn't make any money. That's probably about the only part that is a little sad from uh, this uh, this episode. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes deaths happen, and sometimes people sit in bushes. Um, I don't know. I, don't ask me. But uh, we'll wrap this one up here. Uh, quick plug, like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the support on the channel. And, uh, yeah, throw some comments down below. We'd love to chat with you. If you want to chat with us live, we do stream over on Twitch Fridays and Saturdays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, and randomly throughout the week, usually in the evenings. So if you want to catch us, we've got links in the description for that, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with the channel, Discord is the place to be. So we'd love to have you over there. And uh, yeah, with that, we will wrap this escape episode up. I've been Doc, Average Gamer Guys, as always. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next Escape the Targot video. Peace. <laughs>